What do you not like doing? Sales. <laughs> then that's what you should be doing. Probably. I, I, I'm the one who does that. But that's you do the, the one, sales? I do. But, but that's you don't one of the things it. I like the least. But can, yes. Can I ask why? I, it's the whole piece about telling somebody that you just need to give me money. I have no problems telling you how great my business is, what we do, and how it will benefit you. But if it's the whole pushing them, following up, and going back to them and asking them again and again, hey, have you made a decision yet? Hey, where are you at now? What's going on? I just feel like at some point they're going to get annoyed with it. But I do it. Well, it is your job to annoy people whose business you're trying to make better. So as a parent, do you have kids? Yes, I okay. do. Why do you say that like you're not <laughs> sure? <laughs> do you not have like a register or something? Oh, I have a, I have a range. I, my oldest is 25. My youngest is five. OK. So. All right. You got some, OK. <laughs> with your five-year-old today and with your 25-year-old year, years ago, your job as a parent was to do what? To help make them a better person. And what else? And anybody sure have an opinion? they stay alive. Keep them out of harm's way. Yes. Keep them from making mistakes. Keep them from bad things and push them into good things. Yes. Isn't that what sales is? Except for the follow-up. Well, don't you have to follow up with your kids when they continue to do the same thing wrong over and over again? Continuously. Okay, what's the difference? My kids don't have a choice. They have to listen to me. Well, no, they actually do have a choice. They, they live with me. Well, the 25-year-old does not. At this point, you are correct. <laughs> did, he, did they move out yesterday? No, he's been out for quite a while. But if you, can, if you can go in, particularly in your business, if you can go in with the mindset that it is your responsibility to shelter, protect, preserve, and promote the business like you do your child, then you won't feel bad about following up. Because that business owner doesn't know what they don't know. And rather than indicting them for it or assuming that they're annoyed, yeah, they may be annoyed. Yeah, I think it's important that you actually have a system in your business. Are you annoyed yet? I hope you are, because you still don't have one. And so really, aren't you looking out for their best interests? I believe so. That's it. Convince yourself for real, though, that you really believe that. Because if you do, then when you're making your follow-up call to say, hey, where are we at on improving your business? Where are we at on improving this part of your thing? Where are we at on protecting your assets? Where are we at on protecting your information? Then you don't have to feel as bad. It's true that they could say to you, I'm not interested in doing those things. It's possible. It's possible. And that may be that last call. But for me, you're not selling them something that they're not going to get value out of, are you? Not at all. Do you ever feel guilty when they give you money? No. Do you feel good when they have success? Yes, when they have success, they're protected, they are able to Do you feel guilty better. when they give you money and they don't have success? Yes. Why? If I didn't do something or my company, my employees didn't do something right. Then go do it. Then Correct. Then fix it. That's the point. But you can still take their money. Well, I don't and feel. And I don't say that in a mean way. OK, so I don't feel bad that they're giving me money. I feel bad if we don't do everything that I want to make sure we do as a company. What if they don't do everything? Then I call them out on our meetings when I talk to them about it. But what if they continue to give you money and not do the things you ask them to? Whose fault is that? Well, at some point, it becomes their fault. At the beginning, it's my fault. I, I definitely. Think if, I think if you go into your type of relationship with a really clear understanding that we're going to work on this together, and much like you providing whatever service or product you provide to that customer, and they pay you, and you get there's a, there's a change, there's an exchange. They give you money, you sell them flowers. You give me money, I give you a system. It's no different, right, no matter what the product is. If you gave me bad flowers, your job is to make the flowers right. If I gave you bad service, your job is to do that. But if I gave you money and you just kept giving me bad stuff, what's going to happen after a while? 
they're going to give somebody else the money. You're not going to go back there as yeah. a customer. Your job is to flip that narrative. If they continue to perform badly, your job is to never leave. Because they'll expect you to. And sometimes people are sabotagers. They are. Like as humans, sometimes we're sabotagers. We want to be rescued. We want to have structure. We want to have guidelines. We want to be called. We want to be wanted. We want, we want, we want. And I think if you get uncomfortable with knowing that that's how the human psyche works, then we have to work on that. But you're not asking somebody for something that they're not getting value out of. You're just not. And if you ever feel like you are, then you should, that's a whole nother conversation. If you're selling somebody something they're not getting something out of, like if I was in your space, I would be in this room because I would say to myself, I do this and I choose to take out of it whatever I want. Robin can't make you guys learn something. She can't make you guys change your ways. It's the same thing with the customer. So I would put the onus on you to realize it is your job and your responsibility to follow through because they don't know better. So I'm not being annoying, I'm doing them a favor. You're doing them a favor by helping them provide for their family. You're doing them a favor by giving them a better chance of succeeding as a business owner. You're doing them a favor by allowing them to be successful and hire more people. So in, rea in reality, if you don't do that, you're almost negligent. Or don't be in business. It's a weird way to look at it, but that's no, when I sell good. something to somebody, as long as I feel like I'm not selling them something I shouldn't, I'm fine. Okay?